As one last example, let's calculate the Laplace transform of the delta function. Or in other words, we want to calculate f of s, which is the Laplace transform of delta of t, which is equal to the integral from 0 minus to infinity delta of t e to the minus st dt. Now you'll recall from our properties of uh, the delta function that because the delta function exists only at, in this case, the value of t equals 0, this integration is equal to just the function multiplying the delta function at t equals 0. In other words, we have, let's, let's, uh, let's not skip anything here. This then is equal to the integral from 0 minus to 0 plus of e to the minus st delta of t dt. Now as I was saying, this is only defined at t equals 0, so this is only evaluated at one value, e to the 0, which is 1. We have then e to the 0 times the integral from 0 minus to 0 plus of the delta function. This, of course, is just 1. This is 1. And we end up with, then, the Laplace transform of delta of t is simply 1.